Well, howdy everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about growing hydroponic strawberries indoors. And these are uh, seascape strawberries. They're in a flood and drain system. And they're runnering a lot. I'm going to have to start to cut the runners off. I did use some to fill in on this end. I don't see a lot of berries here. There's one down here. Um, these plants have really just started to flower. And uh, strawberry flowers are, there's not male and female. So they're kind of self-fertile. And a lot of times they will self-pollinate. But you can do a better job if you hand pollinate them like by taking a Q-tip or something like that and just touching it to the different flowers. So these plants are mostly in these original pots from my five-tier planter. Um, it didn't work out well for indoors because you just don't get enough light. Outside they'd be great because the sun moves through the sky and you get a lot better exposure. But with a light up ahead on top, you just don't get enough light down to the bottom. And um, so I took them and set them in this flood and drain tray. And you can kind of see over here, there's the, uh, the, there's one of the fittings. I don't know if you can see the other one. Yeah, okay. There's the other one. Um, these plants, like I said, they're in flood and drain. And, um, they're not doing fantastic but I really haven't paid much attention to them um, I think top feed drip works better than flood and drain but I really didn't want to set up all these drip lines in here so I'm just doing it with the pot setting in the tray and the tray gets flooded three times a day and uh, the plants are starting to uh, uh, take off there's a little bit of uh, nutrient deficiency showing up on some of the leaves but I think it will outgrow them um, the newer runs look a lot healthier and uh, it will eventually I'll have a nice crop of strawberries in here to pick uh, but this is in my grow tent and so um, you know, I have this light here. It's a, it's an old cob. It's 35K. It puts out 250 watts, which is plenty for in here. And it's a pretty good spectrum. Um, and I'm using Jax 321, the nutrient mix that I use for all my plants. And the plants are in Cocoa Core. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, these are in a grow tent, but you could grow them just about anywhere. You could grow them in a closet. You could grow them out in your uh, kitchen. Some people like to put strawberries in hanging baskets, and then the runners come down and all that. Um, it's just a basic grow. And I thought I would show it to you so you could... Uh, get a change from all the other videos I've been doing on my acorn squash which is doing really well and flowering heavy and I will come back and I will be updating that but I just thought I'd give you a little extra uh, something and that's really about all that there is to say about this other than I'm hopeful it's really going to take off, and uh, till I see you again, take good care of yourselves, 
happy gardening. Don't forget, keep it green. All right, see you all later. Bye-bye.